Park. It's the Mets and Rangers at City Field. All the action coming your way tonight on SNY. This year is having an historic year. His 644 slugging percentage would be the American League West. They got there because they signed two middle infielders, Marcus Simeon and Corey. Let's teammate at the University of Florida. They'll face each other for the first time in a big league game. Last start against Atlanta 18 days ago. Marcus Semien leads off. First pitch breaking ball is for Semien last night. Little eight out goes McNeil and he runs it. Who took a rare 0 for 4 last night. He hits the first pitch on the ground to Alonzo. Reyes is there to cover since July 1st. Breaking center, a base hit for Lowe, who's now hit in 12 straight game balls. Nemo two for seven in this series, and he takes the first pitch for a strike, nothing and one. And there's strike three called. He gets Nimmo looking at a sinker at the knees. At third base, Seeger, Simeon, and Low. Jonah Heim is catching tonight. Garver is the. He's had a spectacular couple of months. He's in Seeger's right there waiting for it. Two out with a compensation pick in the first round. It's because Texas got the extra draft pick, and that's a ball deep to left center, but handled by Tavares. On Mitch Garver leads off for the Rangers in the second and swings at a first pitch curveball. Nothing and one. 2 1 coming. Pop a room right to the railing, but it's out of play. So they have him. <laughs> or Dave. 2 2, and Heim pops. And yeah, that's the San Amarillo, Texas. Right side, nice play by McNeil. All the buildings have cross there that that nobody has any windows. Jeez. So no inning. Pete Alonso faces his former college teammate. Dane Dunning was a first run as the same Rex specs going. Pete gets under one to shallow left. Coming on is Jankowski. He broken. Vogel back gets under one. Back at the wall. It's out of here. Team home run. Vogel back breaks the up. Been in the air much more. So. And Stewart Garcia back near the wall. It's, out of it's two nothing New York. And 12 gives up back to back home runs. And here's Omar Narvaez. And it's only 80 summit bats. It's lined to short. Caught by Seeger off the bat. And now has given up 11 home runs in his last 52 innings. Nice job on an 0 2 slip. And he pulls one toward the right field corner, and that ball got me off the fried chicken. But I had the burger. Ortega three and one, and he goes off speed and walks him. That's an interesting choice against. And Nimmo Jankowski to the side wall and jump to pitch coming to Nimmo. And there is he won't get there. It bounces up over the wall. It's a ground. He's going to go have to go back to pulled down to first by Lindora, handled by Low. And he'll take it himself to end the inning, but it's 3 0 New York. The Mets dugout, Jose, through six scoreless innings last night. Uh, last night, I'll be a little off on my comment. I think uh, I missed too many 1 1 count. Mm -hmm. First thing for me. And uh, that day or night, um, that's, that's the first thing. Semi in lines one to left. Jeff McNeil leads off in the home third and fouls off the first pitch slider. From it's organizations, right? right? So when you chase velocity as an organization, and he's much like Quintana as Pete Blitz went oh. back to Dunning. <laughs> so 3 1 to Vogel back and he misses badly with a cutter for ball four. First low plane behind him. And Stewart strikes out on the changeup. Good pitch by Dunning to get him. It's after three. Set developing. 3 0 New York as we start the fourth. Corey Seeger takes a good start. So lodges one hit over the first three innings. And he comes back with a. Ch so Seeger started the day four plate appearances shy of qualifying and second in slugging. Turns that one foul. We mentioned during the open tonight that Seeger, the record belongs to Alex Rodriguez. Who had a 631 slug and Seeger would obliterate that where he is right now. Field Nimmo going back, way back to the warning track. Looks up. All fields. Uh, that ball left the bat. Nimmo thought he had a chance in the dawn. All right, he's hanging out. Ace at the left center his first time up. 
Three two coming. And he struck him out. A high change up there. And Ray. Conversation you guys were having for an inning about Jose Quintana and you know, the fact that he's such an outlier and more on command and not necessarily hard throwers. It's almost now as if the cats to throw hard. They don't even worry about command, secondary pitches. If you, and so there's a lot more of a ceiling to teaching players, young players, to throw hard. We're Mets pitching coach. He said he would tell pitcher raft velocity figuring right. they could teach about command and, and secondary stuff is the end. starting at such a young age that they're coveting velocity from young people if on the mound what does that mean getting an option where you can field your position in the fourth inning it's a beautiful evening the humidity's down Hot days at city field this year see now that you said that Sunday is count down my games. I'll tell you that. <laughs> oh. I love his lined out to short his first time up and he's late on that one. And a strikeout for Dunning is fourth out Otani. For the second out and then gave up the two run homer to Drury. Ronaldo Lopez gave up the big home run to trade Turner. Right. That put the Phillies ahead. Dunning. Vientos now three for eight in the rounds one down third and Ezekiel Duran throws the Dodgers in the National League of course would get the bye toward the corner by Ortega down the line. And you know what's interesting about the Giants is the last few days they have a stretch drive. I mean he's a veteran pitcher he's been around a long long time just beyond the reach of the right fielder Matos that's lined over the glove of low that's a fair ball right along the Snap throw to first and Ortega just got the hand. <laughs> well, that doesn't really mean anything, but having that argument. <laughs> right? Yeah. <laughs> Would have had 55 at the ball not bounced out of play. There goes Ortega. The throw by Heim to second, and he's out. Because we have the earlier start tonight and it's getting to be that time of year, we have. On the plate, Narvaez takes a look, but that'll time I see that beautiful city. Feel, feels like the first so beautiful at the top of that. The line slicing away toward the corner. Line pulls that one down at first. Alonzo with a tough pickup. Stays with it. With the Padres. It's been a real spark plug for Texas. High on this team, despite that. He has a good change up by Reyes to strike out when he's behind. Now Ezekiel Duran takes fastball away. Well, the four and two big league start, but gave up five runs in that game. Arvaez hops on that one and throws out to Reyes. Sure. His rookie year. Martin Perez on in relief for the second time. Two innings on Monday night's game. He's a guy that stays down in the strike zone. Nimmo face Perez on Monday night. Grounded slowly to second, and Simeon comes in. I don't think uh, through his entire time, I didn't watch him as. Is that the start of the blue moon? Yes. We'll be seeing. Is that just me? And Perez got his first hit in the series. Jankowski cuts it off, and, and McNeil thinking about a bunt. McNeil tried to bunt. He rockets this one down the right field line toward the corner. That's a fair ball. This ball getting to that pitch inside and not only hitting a game in the fifth inning. And Alvarez will get the opportunity here to bust it. exactly right. It's not what you would expect. Who has shown of late in these kinds of at bats, he can stay. And Alvarez, it's a double play ball to Semyon. Seeger with the turn and to get out of the inning.